those little pauses to me, man, that shit sounds so incredible to me. I, I want to get back to the song. This shit is nasty. I'm gonna start this back from nasty. the beginning. Charismatic front man can do yeah, a lot. Yeah, boy. Can do a lot for a band. Fire. They can make a band and kill a band. Nasty though. That, I, I, that is no nasty. Wrong to me. That is nasty. The riffs and and my man Peter Stone yeah. voice. Really, it's like nails on a chalkboard to me, guys. So, but uh, we're gonna get through it. We're gonna get through it. And it's an inter it's uh never mind. Keep it going, George. <laughs> it's just just keep it going. <laughs> Check us out on Patreon, guys, where we give you our exclusive access to all of our videos, 186 videos and counting. Bangers too, though. Bangers. <laughs> you know, nothing too shabby. I mean, I don't know, like a Led Zeppelin marathon. We got Metallica mm -hmm. on there, some yep. negative F stuff. You know, I'm just saying, just throwing that out there, man. All right, man. Nirvana, man. Off the Nevermind album, man. They have some bangers on there. Why haven't we done more Nirvana? We look back into some of the videos we've done in the past. I think we did Come As You Are. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people enjoyed that. Album. Yep, that's on this um, this Nevermind album that came out in, what, 92? And then we did the uh, Heart Shaped Box, which is which was on the In Utero album, if I'm not mistaken. That came out in 93. So that's it. That is our history of Nirvana. And I'm like, nah, bro, nah. We got to do more Nirvana. You know what I mean? They just mattered when they had an, an insane impact <laughs> on, on the rock world, man. Let's get into it, man. We're going to do In Bloom. I believe this was a pretty big request uh, uh, when we were doing Nirvana, I believe you guys kept saying to do In Bloom, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so we're going to do In Bloom. It sounds familiar, the name, the title, but I'm not sure if we've heard it. But let's get into it, man. Nirvana, In Bloom. It does. It does sound familiar. It does. But it, I don't know if I'm thinking it's of thinking of Stone Temple Pilots, because I feel like boom, ba da boom, boom, is something that Stone Temple Pilots mm. uh, I heard in, of, like that, the riffs there. They sound like something that Stone Temple Pilots would, would create. But anyway, sorry. But yes, Ryan said that it sounds familiar, and I agree. It does, off of those first couple of riffs. So let me, let me pull it back. <laughs> And they build it back up. <laughs> nice. They build it back up into the chorus. This I, is fire. Yeah, I really like it. Fire. I really like it. Yep. Yeah, I've heard this. it in passing. He's on playlist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've heard this in passing, and um, but I like it though. The way it started, and then they drop in that smooth groove, and they bring it down, as you just said, right? They bring down the tempo, and then it's almost like they're talking. Singing a little bit, but talking, and then he starts to sing, and then they build on it. All we heard was the basses in the chorus. Boom, doom, 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 boom, doom, doom. And then they build on it, and then the other instruments start to add on to it, and then they build up the intensity into the chorus. And the chorus is obviously intense because that's the, the hook. And then they bring it back down to that slow down, suave. Um, I don't want to call it muted, but it's very, very um, minimalistic. 
Mm-hmm. And I with think the they base, with the base. Yeah, man. And that, that shit sounds good, man. I like that a lot. We've said this on prior videos about like who was the person. Because we've said we've loved that before many times. So I want I want to let y'all know that we know. You know what I'm saying? We've said that we love the sort of contrast between loud and soft. That was like mm-hmm. our calling card for years on Lost. You know what I mean? When, yeah. we, when we were in, in the beginning, when we were making videos, we were like, yo, that contrast, loud, soft, loud, soft. Mm-hmm. And we were like, who's the band? That kind of started that. Many people said Nirvana popularized that. Some people said that they started it, but then there was some sort of back and forth in the comments where people were like, well, well, maybe the Pixies were the first band. I don't know. But I know that the first time that I heard this and I was impacted by it was probably Nirvana. Mm-hmm. That contrast between loud and soft. So we'll just say maybe they popularized it, yeah. took it to a different level. I love the way they do it. And um, even in Smells Like Teen Spirit, I'm going to play it just a, you know, just a little bit of it. It I don't is. care what y'all say it about. Is, I don't care what y'all say about Nevada. <laughs> that is nasty, <laughs> nasty. And they did the same thing in this song with In Bloom. Yeah. Nasty. That shit is though. Disgusting. Really, it, yeah. <laughs> Disgusting. I don't even need to say nothing else. Go ahead. Yeah, they do it. They do it at a very high level. I don't care who did it first. I know they did it. They do it very well. So yes, shout sir. out to Nirvana, man. Let's keep it going. Loving it already. Playlist. To your point, Ryan. I believe I have heard In Bloom somewhere. I heard some of, you know, piece, mm-hmm. bits and pieces of the song, maybe in passing, like you said as well, just to give you guys a heads up. So let's uh, get back to it. Man, y'all better leave Nirvana's name out your mouth, bro. Because they were killing this shit. 
they were killing this shit. Smell like Teen Spirit. I'm glad you played that little snippet to remind me how fucking nasty that was. Ridiculous. And you look at this album, man. The first song on the album, Smells Like Teen Spirit. Second song on the album, In Bloom, which Banger. we just did. Third song on the album, Come As You Are. I fuck with Come As You Are as well, yeah, by the way. I, mean, <laughs> I like I that song. I don't know if we heard Breed. I don't, I don't know. Uh, Lithium, I think I've that heard sounds, that. That sounds, that sounds very familiar. So I don't know if this album was just banger, banger, banger. But let's just say, let, let's just say, for the sake of argument, that one, two, and three, Smelled Like Teen Spirit, In Bloom, Come As You Are, and Lithium, that number five. Let's say four songs on this album were fire. I don't know. That's enough for me, bro. You're going to play them first three. That, that's enough for me. You're going to play you know them first three like probably like 10 times in a row each. Yeah. You're going to run <laughs> Smells Like Teen Spirit back to back to back. Then mm -hmm. you're going to like finally you're going to kind of stabilize with that. Then you're going to run it definitely in bloom back to back to back to back. <laughs> Come as you are is going to get some runs. So yeah. Before you even, at least that's how I, I am sometimes. Yeah. Albums, Mike. sometimes like run that shit back. I, I kind of run it back a few more times <laughs> before I get through the entire album if it's a song or two that I like. Yeah, man, that it. Yeah, but to to Ryan's point, man, that's enough for a lot of people. I'm telling you, that's enough. I'm telling you, give me three to four joints that I love, not that I like, but that yeah. I love. In Bloom killed it. That's playlist for me too as well. I like that a lot. Um, I'm wondering if, if the rest of the album is fire like this. Yeah, rest in peace to Kurt Cobain, man. I love the way his voice sounded on this. I loved. I just think it's the quintessential early '90s rock voice, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's got that strain in it to a degree. And I love the man. Me and Ryan were talking about this. I love the way they wrote the melody in this. And the one and I don't know what it means. Mm. I love the way that was written. Wow, they were giving us those sort of pausing, hard yeah. riffs. Ba boom, boom, ba boom, ba 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 boom. Right. With the bass, the bassist was going crazy in this. Let me shout out the bass. Yep. Chris Novoselic, I believe, could be pronouncing his name wrong. Beautiful bass work. Same thing, I think, it, you know, the bass work was amazing on Smells Like Teen Spirit. Beautiful bass work in this. And it's just a song you want to play. It just yes. fucking bangs, man. It just rocks. And talk about that. That fucking transition into everything. That's super playlist. So, yeah, man, maybe we need to dig a little bit more into Nirvana. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, they're like, Lord, no. <laughs> they can Lord know all that. It's a couple. It's a couple, you know. There's a couple people that's not really rocking with Nirvana like that, but from the songs I've heard, I've liked, yeah, I think, man. almost every song we've done from them. So I'd like to hear more from Nirvana. So give us some suggestions, because we will be getting back to them. And that's it, guys. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm George. That's Ryan, Lost in Vegas. We are.